Hi everybody, my name is Donnie. Welcome to my channel. I'm excited that you're here. And if you're here, you're interested in the Erin Condren planners. I have a coil bound planner and I have a binder. The binder is new this year. She has given us what we've asked for, a binder with the life planner in it. And I'm gonna show that to you. Down below, there is a coupon code available. If you're interested in purchasing a planner or accessories or anything, you can use this code. It's for first time buyers. And uh, sign up on her, her um, website and you can use that code there. So if you're ready to explore the new planners, stick around. I'm going to go through both of them in detail. Today's the day it came. It is Saturday, May the 11th, and ta-da, my Erin Condren is here. Okay, let's just open it, have a look. I'm not going to wait any longer. I have cleared off my desk. I have put as much aside as I, as I can just to make room to do this. Decided to film it kind of live instead of doing a voiceover just so I can... Get it done. Hope I can just upload this video straight from my phone. We shall see. Uh, if I don't edit and it, it it has some spots that really should be edited, I apologize. Okay. Hope I don't knock everything down. Purple. Love the purple. Of course, there's always the the postcard that comes when they give you something and a sticker. This has got scallops all the way around it. And the enjoy sticker on your tissue paper. I do try to save that. It came off nicely. Today's kind of muggy, it's been raining. So that might be why it came so nicely. It came off so nicely. There's the little freebie of the line sticky notes. Yes, you are supposed to get two, they said, but uh, I think everybody's just getting one. So unless it's down in there, I don't know. Here's the little, um, I don't know what they call this. It's just a dangle. It has a little um, lobster claw clasp on it. It says, love to plan on one side. And the other side, I think, says something different. Love to plan and Erin Condren Insider. So that's on that one. And here is not what I thought I was going to get for the binder. I thought the binder came in a box. It does not. That kind of, mm, that's sad because I was hoping to get a box with this, especially for the price point. Okay, no box. I guess only the spiral notebook comes in a box. So, who knew? Okay, I did not. Here's the binder. I got mine with the kaleidoscope cover in colorful it's a colorful neutral i hope 18 month and it doesn't say for sure that it is but i'm pretty sure by looking in the side here that it is so there's that and then the box for my spiral notebook let me get rid of this in the vertical neutral and the box is pretty I do like the box. Uh, however, I like the Kaleidoscope Colorful box much better, which is why I went ahead and made a second order and bought one more box, but in the Colorful, which would match this in hopes that I would have two, but I'm only going to have one. And then here it is. I believe this is the wedding Green Wedding Shoes something floral. They're all floral. That's real pretty. Let's see if I can get this aside. Throw it back there. All Erin Condren planners are supposed to come with a ruler clipped in, and this year is no different. Let me open the binder up because I'm going to do this at the same time. 
excuse me for all this noise. Get rid of that. <clears throat> Let's see if that came with one too. Nope. Yes, yes, there it is. So the binder does as well. Uh, that's right. They said that it did not come with those little ears on it to open it. So I just do it that way. And it has some helpful tips to set it up. So I'll look at that. So every time you open your binder, you're going to have to pull these apart by the rings, which is gross because that just means I'm going to ruin my rings sooner. Hmm. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you happen to be watching this video, I've had an Erin Condren planner now for the past uh, one, two, three binders. So that means two years previously that I have planned in all the way through the year. Uh, this will be going on my third year. So this year, and I always do the neutral planner, which is this one. I always do it in a coil with gold, gold coil. Love it. This is, now that it's in front of me and I can actually see it and feel it, the paper's still the same. It feels the same to me. I can do this. I think I can plan in this. I'll dig up a kit in a minute and I'm going to lay stickers so that we can see exactly how they, how they work on this new setup. And uh, I wanted to see what the colorful looks like. I've never owned a colorful. Let me open this up. This is one of the, the parts about a uh, um, when you I do a when you film a haul. That's what it's called. That you have to hear some plastic opening up. I love the vellum. This sheet right here is so pretty. And if you don't know or haven't heard yet, uh, the way the binder is set up with the rings the four rings here in the center two at the top two at the bottom she has done a few things about this and it's kind of ingenious i like the idea behind it but then again it makes it kind of hard to um, do stuff with the items we already own but she has configured this so that you can add the ruler and all of the other plastic uh, snap-in pieces including covers which are interchangeable so that you can just add these to the ring the rings and they come in and out as well as fitting in your coil notebook the same as the covers and everything there this, you have to kind of push it in to get it on. So that's that's handy. That's a pretty cool thing. And then for all of the binder punches that we want to make, things that we want to add, like dashboards or whatever, she's coming out with a punch that will match this particular configuration. So um, Cassandra over at MWD Design Co., she had thought about covering this with washi tape and repunching it with three holes or whatever you might want to do to put in an A5 binder. Genius idea. All the kudos to her for thinking of that. So if you end up disliking or not wanting to use the actual binder that came with your guts for your planner, you, uh, for the ring bound binder, you may want to do that and put the washi tape over there and repunch that would mean all of them, of course, if you were to do that. So, oh man, that's, that kind of just burst my bubble a little, y'all. Look at all that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's all mussed up. It looks like it's already been in a ring bound. No, it doesn't. It looks like it's already been punched partially punched okay I may have to it looks like there's rings right over there and it's all bent 
I'm going to see if I can flatten that out. I don't want an issue. I so bad do not want an issue. But they are wavy. They look kind of bad. I'm going to put them in the binder and see how it looks. And if it will if it will turn smoothly on the rings, then I'm not going to make an issue. And that, hopefully, is not going to be the case. They're gorgeous. I love the colors. <clears throat> okay, so there's the binder. I'm not going to put them in because that means I have to line up all the holes. So I'm not going to put it in there yet. But I am going to look at the pages in a minute. And let me go over here. Oh, we've got two now. Let's set these aside because I don't ever keep those on here anymore. Just because it's easier for me. I got this cover. It's gorgeous. I did not get personalization. I did not want to do that on this particular order because I can always personalize a cover later. Here's the cards that it comes with. There's a code in here as well and uh, I can't remember if there's some stickers maybe in here but I'm not going to open that up. I want to look at the planner. Vertical neutral. Yes I got a very colorful uh, cover on it but I prefer the neutral tones. I, I know that in my past I have always thought that there's too much color in a neutral but it's not it's not because the the planner actually comes uncolored it's because the planner comes neutral and so it took me a while to kind of figure out that there's still color and it's supposed to be that way because it's a neutral color. It's just not colorless. So we have some beautiful artwork. It looks like colored pencil to me. I know other people call it watercolor. It has brush strokes, I guess. So maybe it does look like a watercolor. It is kind of that stylistic uh, colors it kind of looks like a diamond somebody said especially in the in the neutral it looked like a diamond with the facets and all I think she's right this color this uh, neutral color tone does lend itself to looking more like a like a diamond I personally do not like this color I'm gonna pretend this is a blue and not an aqua this to me is hideous that's me personally some of y'all love this color and it is extremely vibrant i am going to be covering this up the in interior of this binder just because i don't prefer that color it's not my favorite it's probably the last color on my uh, palette that i would pick from so that's just me <clears throat> yeah why did you pick that binder then i wanted the pink interior I loved it. So here we go. I love options, as you know. I love having options. I love being able to do whatever I want to in a section instead of it being told to me what I have to do. For example, monthly goals and birthdays. Easy enough to put a sticker over this. And because I'm a, a planner who puts stickers in my, in my planner, it makes it very easy for me to um, to work with it depending on what it is. I always look at my planners as a framework for my stickers. This particular sticker kit, this one is Sincerely D Designs. Um, it's a digital kit and I'm going to just, it was handy so I reached down and that was the one on top. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now let's see what these months look like. The month. Very nice. I do not have a problem with this at all. I have seen some people say that um, comparing it to the old Erin Condren or the current one, whatever you want to call it, that uh, we have less room. Let's just pull it to July. We have less room at the top. from the bottom of Sunday to the top of the page. So some of the kits have been made for the older Erin Condren's that are wider up here, the stickers that go across here. So we can always snip off some of that, I think, to, 
to make up for the difference on that. And if not, hmm, I could see where that could potentially be a problem for some sticker kits that uh, are for the monthly. This is the monthly setup. I think that if I can find my... And it's always elusive when you look for something on camera, isn't it? Okay, little old Westcott six inch ruler does have a little extra on the ends. So as I measure this, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. From there to there, it is one, two, three, four, five eighths, one inch and five eighths across in the old one. This is the old one. And of course I can't get it on that side. Let's try here. And we have the same over here. So that's good. That has not changed. One inch or five eighths across. The height three eighths. One inch and three eighths down. The old planner an inch and three-eighths. It may actually be just a smith. No, I think it's right on. An inch and three-eighths. So the inside boxes of both of the monthly boxes, I hope I haven't made a mistake, but they look to be the same measured. These are exactly one and not even quite one and a half inches. I think if I went to centimeters, I would find out that it's not. Let's see, because this is big when you're making a sticker. One, two, Seven, so that's 37 is that millimeters and uh, yeah I'm old so centimeters and millimeters y'all I think the one two three are centimeters so the millimeter is where I would measure that too and it looks as if it's 37 millimeters across on the dotted line the old, that's the new one and then this is the old one Oh good, it's the same. Good. Okay, so these pages seem to have, have been the same except for just this up here. And to the bottom of that day, it is, I'll call it 40 centimeters. Seriously, it may be one tick, like 39 millimeters, to the bottom of the two, of the word on the new one. Sorry, the old one. The bottom on the new one is 37. Mm -hmm. 37. So there is a difference on that. Okay. The one that really, really concerned me, really, really, really concerned me is the differences that were made to this. I've got the old one on top and the new one on the bottom and it's real obvious that there are some some major changes here. Uh, it's not a deal breaker thankfully. There are the rounded tops and bottoms of the columns and we now have a little spot down here to have to mess with and she did away with all of the space in between these rows there's no more space there so let's just have a look I'll do it in millimeters first I want that exact and it would actually be 37 and a half millimeters across because I'm right on that line it's 37 and a half 
millimeters across on the new one. The old one, it, honestly, it looks like it was the same. 30, and now I've been hearing other things about this. 37 and a half. Let's put stickers on here and see. I've got a full, full box sticker I'm going to lay on here. And these two right here are real similar. Let me pull these up. I want to see how these lay. This is removable sticker paper, so I will be able to pull that up. I'm going to put the sticker down right in the center of the existing circles, uh, dots, that she has. And, and I'll, I'll get closer so y'all can see. In the old Erin Condren, which is here on my left, it's halfway through the little dots on the left-hand side, and it ends over the dots on the right-hand side. And there are lines now going up and down on the new Erin Condren with the dot dotted line only going across in those two spots. That's going to be different. So let's place one right here. I'm going to follow along the bottom line, right? In the center and I'm going to place this sticker right on top of the left line where I can barely see an edge on the left side and it goes over slightly on the right side I think the difference might be the actual width of those dots y'all that might be the only difference between a line and a dot. And the dots on here, on the new one, y'all, they're smaller than the dots in the old one. I'm not gonna count those across, but my big guess here is that those are smaller dots. Nobody has mentioned that yet. So I think the larger dots were in the, the old Erin Condren here, and these are smaller dots, actually. Now that's interesting, isn't it? So I'm actually going to be able to place a sticker in the new book, clear over that left line, and it'll probably be perfect. It may hang over slightly, but at least it'll cover the lines, and we aren't going to have like dots sticking out on one side like we always have before. So that's a good thing. I like that. I'm going to find the headers in this kit. This is such a cute kit. She has got some of the sweetest things. Um, I'm still looking for the headers. Oops, there they are. And they're gold. I'm going to need that bottom washi too real quick. Okay, let's pull up a couple of headers and see how this is going to look. I went to the bottom of the top line to place that first sticker. And I may be wrong. I might have should have start, started at the top. But we're going to see. Well, that would make this go right in the middle Hmm. I've got plenty of stickers. Let's play with this. I'm not going to put them in the old one. Most people already know what that looks like. So let me take the stickers and actually do a whole day. I think that would be the best thing. Let's do a whole day. I'm going to peel up this first one that I already laid. And I'm going to start at the top this time instead of trying to see how that looks. And I, I can always reuse this or reprint the kit if I wanted to. So I'm going to start with the header at the very top. One thing I was thinking about last night when I could not sleep because I was too excited that my Erin Condren was coming today was whether or not my headers were going to, these lines right here, those curves were going to have to be whited out. In some cases, yes. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to white them out because they will show through. In most cases, however, I don't think that's going to be an issue. So I, I, I'll try to put this on top of that line and line it up. And still I'm short. If I wanted to, I could probably leave some white space, but I'm not going to leave any white space as I do this this time because I really want to see what the, the length of all these stickers looks like in here with no white space. Okay, I got that one down straight, and again, 
I'll have to put this on top of a dotted line. Hmm. I may be a white space planner after this just so I can line those up. Okay, let's just put these down here and see what we get. Line that up. Mm. I'm not sure these measurements are my favorites on where they hit. Don't know if I really like that or not. So I want to try to put the header over the line. I like that it doesn't show the line. I mean, I can I can kind of see it. It's almost like a frame if I'm really being picky about what I can see through a sticker. I'm not going to wipe them out. I'll tell you that much. That's way too much white out. And I am the queen of white out. And there, look at that. It's going to land over that bottom section. That one's hard to place. I, it's got a line on it. And look, it's right over the middle of that section right there. Let's put a piece of bottom washi down and see what this looks like. I love this bottom washi. Those curves, I hate that. Sorry, I'm just being honest and kind of that's the way I am. That's going to be tough to lay straight because I don't have a straight line at the very corner down there. I would have to white out all of those purple things, and I'm sure they're different colors on different months. They are. They're different colors for each of the months, so I would literally have to white out all of those if I were going to leave white space in between my the bottom of my column here, my that last row. I would have to white those out. Hmm. Okay, this is this is going to be different. That placement is hard too. Very different, y'all. Okay. Yes, I know. I did not white anything out down there. And that's how that would go. Okay. Now, I'm going to do another row real quick and just see. No. I would have to move the washi down if I were to try to leave any white space, I think, between these. Okay. I can't wait to see what y'all come up with. I really can't. I am dying to see y'all start using these July 1st. Uh, I think some of y'all are going to go ahead and try to start working on them. I'm going to probably go ahead and lay down my July monthly and see if the one I have is going to work. Uh, I don't always put a monthly sticker kit down just because I don't hardly ever use these pages, but... I want to play with this a little bit. I also want to see how y'all are going to configure stickers, all you sticker makers, and especially the digital ones because that's the ones I prefer, um, the options you might give us for this. I really hope you will not round the corners. I despise rounded corners personally, and I like the look of straight edges best. I would love to see some strips of something pretty cover those because I'm not a fan of these colors that's just me I would love to see some strips like bottom washi top top and bottom washi for these pages too that I can put down and change that and a lot of people are also complaining about this stylistic um, hexagon at the beginning of the month and again up here I think it lends itself to being decorative in the book but it also gets in the way of my personal planning for example on this page I think seriously because I prefer to put a full box let's use this girl she's industrious if I was going to put a full box and want to kind of give a a uh, 
I know it used to be a thankful thought. It became an empty box, and now we've got this. Um, I prefer personally something that says July in my planning. I like it to say the, the day of the month. Let me find one that I haven't written in yet. April's real good for that. Yeah, I haven't used this yet. So, as you can see, I like to put a full box in the sidebar near the top. And then I like a sticker that says April or the day of, you know, the month up here. We're used to flags. We don't, whoops, excuse me. We don't have flags anymore, but you can always add a flag if you like flags. So, I'm probably going to end up whiting out this every time I plan. That's a lot of white out. I did not realize that the font when I first noticed these was so huge. That's and black. It's just too much. So I'm going to white those out for sure. And I'll be whiting out all of this up here too. I always white out everything. I never have left it alone in my planners so that's just me i do love that the difference in the font and the numbers up there look at that difference that's huge thank you aaron the font's a little different it's a little lighter i love that but the numbers thank you thank you are less we don't need huge big fat numbers I think we're all, this This kind of dates it, I think. It looks a little older fashioned. And that kind of cleaned up the whole look. Maybe that's what I'm seeing as a difference, is it's not so spladow up there in that black. This is a spladow spot, though. And I would like to see that change in the future, personally. And I'm not a fan of these. It's helpful for some people. Maybe I'll leave it once or twice, but I will more than likely put a sticker on top of that. So my full box is still going to go up here. I think I've also seen that the sizes on the sidebar are different. Let's get a millimeter again on this one. From the left to the right, I think that's a 38 millimeters. 38 millimeters. I don't do inches when I actually make stickers myself, but it is right at one and a half inches because I always have to convert so that I can use. Now, this is exactly one and a half inches. How's that going to do us? Man, you have to get that perfect jaw. It covers, but it has to be perfect. It will cover. Oh, thank you. Okay, good. I'm so thankful for that because otherwise I would have to have stuff sticking out on one side. And trying to white out little dotted lines like that's hard. I love that the dots are not as pronounced. I am so glad. And on camera, you aren't going to be able to see a difference. Well, these are the same. I see. These are the same. It's these that have changed right here. And we have lines, which is difficult to tell, but we have lines going up and down, making that circle, that curve at the top and bottom. Those are solid lines. And this one, that one, and that one are all dotted lines. And I, I hope that I've gotten close enough so that y'all can see that difference. So that's what I see so far as changes. Of course, we all every year, all of the all of the videos I watch are that's the main thing. How will our sticker kits fit? What are the changes? Um, and how much is this uh, gonna cost me to white out <laughs> for the, for my sticker kits? I think it's going to be possible to actually do a sticker kit on here and not white out that top rounded spot, but we are still going to have to white out some stuff at the bottom. So there's still that. 
Okay, let's run to the back real quick because some of y'all want to see the back. I haven't turned my rings yet. I haven't even looked at them yet. I need to make sure that they're not messed up at all. So you have some extra pages at the back. I love the extra pages only because um, just in case I like to have the spot to write. I haven't found that I needed it yet. I'm not that big of a planner of extra stuff, so I haven't needed to do that. I like that. It looks like gemstones. She calls it kaleidoscope, but it, to me it looks like a uh, rock quartz or something like that. There are some pages that you can color. Those are cute. Just two. Okay. Two coloring pages. Is that right? Really? Okay. Two coloring pages. Sorry for those of you who like to have more. Kind of a, a spot you can... There's 12, so you can do a, a whole uh, mood board, whatever you want to call those for the year down here. I like the keep the let's keep in touch spot. I find that I need to keep certain addresses um, on hand. So that's helpful. The next year, 2021. And in the coming year, good spot to write some stuff down here. And the neutral stickers. They're pretty. I like that they're they're pretty with the foils. I love the foils. And I think that's rose gold on that one. Silver. I believe that one was rose gold and silver. So you get two foils. This is something I was looking forward to. In the uh, colorful, especially, that's a pretty muted silver it's not a mirror silver it's a uh, matte silver maybe of course you have the perpetual calendar those are always nice to just have you can give these as gifts too by the way because i don't happen to use a perpetual calendar i still have all of them but and you can write lists and stuff on this now i have seen where you can take a cover let me use my old one though where you can take the covers of your Erin Condren's which come off they're interchangeable and that in the binder let's have a look at this now in the binder you can actually put them in here just like those uh, clip on other the other stuff that clips on let me pop that on there and use this as the lift board so you can see just I put a pocket in here with my extra stickers that I like to keep so this is gonna be handy and you might washi tape the extras if you wanted to if that bothers you it has me when I was thinking about it I may washi over those now I run the risk of course if I do that of not being able to pull it off because it'll stick to itself through the holes and that would make it very difficult to remove to use later but I may, I don't know, I may do that. I've got some coming apart down here, haven't I? So there's that, and then you can put all your pages in. I really don't like, I wish it had the opener. I really wish it had the opener. I would have felt a whole lot better about the longevity of this binder if... If I did not have to pull it with that it's gonna be fun I think y'all to see <laughs> to see y'all do it first <laughs> to decorate I'm I'm anxious to see what all y'all come up with because I know y'all have some excellent ideas same thing in the colorful so you have a quote page a note page at the beginning of the month I like the colors I, I'm a colorful person I, I love color I love certain colors so again I would probably want something to cover that I see that these are all shaded in a color this is a pretty yellow but I know for example I'm not a fan of December 
being that weird looking green that always throws me off I don't like that so some of those I'm probably gonna do something with I don't necessarily plan on uh, doing my sticker kits in this binder for one thing I would have to pull out the pages to do it and it may not really need it I could actually you know what now that I'm looking where July ends and August begins because there's a juxtaposition of the colors here and I don't necessarily like this yellow I could see just putting some headers down and maybe a bottom washi across the bottom if I wanted to personally I like the colors in the July box I like that it's a box with a smaller font than we had in the neutral I like that much better I love that there's not a spattering of petals or lines woven wonder had the lines going like through your your design petals uh, painted petals had had them around sporadically that's why I didn't choose frankly that's why I did not choose a colorful planner when I very first started was I did not like that this however I can still do sticker kits on it looks like now yes I'd have to wipe these out because most of um, these dark colors are going to show through any sticker kit you have easy peasy way to do this though would be to take some um, and I, I keep these handy because I make stickers but if you have excess or leftover or messed up sticker pages that has this like if you make them yourself you know you always have this I call it the selvage the leftover part hang on to it because you can use these cut them down stick them on as a bottom washi oh, an underlay for your bottom washi and it'll cover it up I've seen a lot of people do that for the headers I wanted to also try one other thing while I was on here I have made in the past some uh, stickers that I call half headers and let me pull these out real quick those of you who know me are laughing because you're like oh yeah okay all it is is a header that is half the height of a full header I've been wondering if they will fit and it is it's half the height of a full header I made these in my silhouette I measured a full header height and then just halved it so these are gonna work perfectly y'all I made these a year and a half or two ago uh, half headers half headers um, y'all with uh, shops that make them uh, please add these to your digital kits I would love to see the size in a digital that I can also use maybe instead of where did I do that July Oh, that's the old one instead of having to do the uh, full headers maybe we can use half headers y'all and here and that'll raise up that sticker some and allow us to have white space ah so half headers I think that might be an answer for a few of us on that on these parts and maybe even just a full header here because it doesn't matter on the top row and then we can just do everything else around it so I see some potential here for half headers especially in here I'm gonna try out half headers in here too I may do a spread with just half headers in the center of those and see how that looks so anyway I'm just gonna stop I've given a few ideas if y'all want to run with them go for it I am NOT the author of half headers they just came up to my brain as a needful thing I actually made them to put in the middle when I had more white space than I wanted just as something to put you know add some foil and just kind of give me a little something something 
in the middle of some white space. So if y'all want to go for that, please do. I would love to see designed matching to my kits. Not sure about those, especially in this one. I can't wait to see what y'all come up with as ideas for this. If Seriously, if you come up with a monthly sticker that will cover all of that, that would be awesome. And then we can still put a full box up here if we want to and go from there. So anyway, this is what I got this time. I do have another order with some of the accessories that I have um, been eyeballing and decided to go ahead and get. So I'm going to be busy for the rest of the day sitting right here. It looks like putting these pages in a few at a time. I hope I answered your questions. And seriously, if I if you have other questions, which you might, feel free to, to comment down below and let me know what they are. And if I can answer them, I will um, with what I have on hand. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's a code. There's a code. I will put it below. If you're a first-time buyer of Erin Conran, there's a 10% off code available to you. And that's always helpful. Also, remember that when you purchase a planner, you're given a code, two codes, in fact, for 20% off. So that'll be helpful if you want to buy accessories or even another planner. I just love this year's planners. The choices are awesome. The colors are wonderful and exciting. I love that she has included such useful and colorful things in her, her planners. The, the stickers, these are the colorful stickers at the back of the binder. Uh, you can actually take these pages out if you want, snip those uh, where the rings are and you can see it'll pop into a coil just like the covers would beautiful beautiful stickers the foiling is is beautiful on these i love this and there's there's a whole lot if i remember to use these they do look really nice in the planners of course because the colors go with the planners so there's lots to use there's lots to choose from here is the folder in the colorful that beautiful kaleidoscope i just love that that's that's what really sold me i think was when i saw that i was kind of like well yeah, i gotta have that isn't that pretty aren't those colors nice i just oh i love it that's that's just some good stuff there i'll show you some more of the binder coming up and then an idea that one of y'all shared uh, I also noticed on the website here, uh, she is selling the covers as page lifters. Now, I have to tell you, I struggled a little bit. Here you have to leave one hole at the top and then clip it in. And the same at the bottom, there will be one extra hole at the bottom. It's still a little stiff. And as you can see, a ring right there did not quite meet perfectly. So I'll work on that a little bit. It might have been my fault when I put the pages in, but I'll work on that a little bit. I did not notice a problem with it. So I'm just going to go with it. And I think you can switch them out if you want. That is the coiled planner, my vertical neutral. That's the cover I chose. I did not have it personalized. I can always personalize covers in the future and I wanted to get my order as soon as possible. And remember too, you can order a binder or a coiled planner in a neutral and colorful versions. You can do the life planner. You can do a horizontal planner. They have hourly the same for the ring binders, you can do that. And there's a teacher planner, there's a wedding planner, um, and I'm sure there's something else that I have totally forgotten and did not write down on this little, little list that I made up. So the stickers are in the back here are from the neutral, the neutral colorway. 
aren't they cute they're the same stickers as in the colorful but they have different foils and different colors that go very well with the neutral t uh, palette I love the pastel shades and then here's the folder at the back of the neutral I really like that foiling that's really beautiful a matte silver and again it comes with this little insert it's the um, perpetual that's the word calendar and again the split owl just it's so pretty I just okay y'all I'm in love I hope y'all have enjoyed watching this I hope I've answered some questions for you again if you have questions uh, drop them below in the comment section I will do my best to answer for you um, I know I was kind of hit and miss on some of the stuff I'm not excellent at doing things like this on the fly if I had studied written notes out that would have been I guess a method that I could have made this video but that's not how I fly I I like to do things by the seat of my pants and just kind of wing it this is to me one of the prettiest shots just all the colors I hope if you decide to get a life planner you love it as much as I do and I really hope that you'll come back and watch my plan with me videos I enjoy doing those thank you for watching and thank you for your comments and give me a thumbs up follow me if you'd like y'all take care have a wonderful wonderful week bye bye